Tuombe tuudishie mungu shukurani E mungu mwenyezi themselves. He'd relate how autocorrect on his phone changed his name, or how he was famous for being able to fall asleep in the MRI machine when most people were terrified. He'd just pretend he was in an airplane taking off. Calestus considered adding a chapter to his memoir on the last chapter of his life. It was to be about the importance of scientific and medical research. He had his own very personal experience of the recent advances in cancer treatment using genomics that had extended his own life. In his own way, he will have contributed to that ongoing experiment that will help so many in the future. Calestus brought out the best in people, gave them the confidence to believe in themselves and in their ability to make a difference. In his last days, he was dictating text messages of thanks to his doctors and sending a cake to the nurses. And of course, it had a joke on it. His mail was always full of cards from his students, thanking him for mentoring them, for providing inspiration and the courage to forge ahead. His last tweets were some pointed cartoons. He loved to teach, as anyone who attended one of his lectures or classes knows. This Thanksgiving, at the end of November, he invited his students to our house for a traditional meal. It provided a welcoming place for them when most Americans had gone home for the holidays. But he had a larger goal. He always did. He wanted them to meet each other. They were from three different universities. He wanted them to discuss their ideas about development so that they could support each other when they graduated. When he ended up in the hospital that weekend, he said, the show must go on. Eric will be the host. He called in to the gathering on Skype, and in the eat event was a great success, with ideas and connections bubbling up for hours, just as he'd hoped. 
Calestus lived his life to his absolute fullest, to meet every commitment and responsibility to the last. He dictated comments on his students' term papers from his hospital bed, and he completed his memoir from his bed at home, dictating to our son Eric for three days running. Yes. No, put in there, huh?